Hey guys. And I was expecting that door to burst. I was expecting that door to open too. No, you know what that remind me of? Remember I was saying about Simpsons the other day? Yeah. You ever see that scene where he, where Homer tells Bart, let's just get the game kind of rolling through. Oh, uh, yeah. Homer, like, talks to Bart, and Bart's like, Dad, why do people die? And he's like, well, people die all the time, son, for no reason. Like, you could die right now in your bed. Good night, son. And he walks away, and, then two, and Bart goes like, oh, boy. And then he goes, and then Homer kicks the door, and, hey, Bart, you want to check out my new hockey match? It's chainsaw! <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, oh, I'm sorry, boy. How foolish of me. Good night. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I didn't screw that up. <laughs> I was expecting to screw that up. So, uh, this is the perfect level, actually, to uh, show off this. Well, well, because look how fucking dramatically different this it looks is. like the. F oh my god. Dio's butthole's the alpha build of this level. But your dad reminds me of that scene. <laughs> Why does my dad remind you of that scene? Because he always... I don't know. He's probably going to go to the door right now. Yeah, probably. He's going to bust in with a chainsaw and a hockey mask. <laughs> hey, Fish, you want to check out my new chainsaw and hockey mask? And you're like, no, that's mine, Dad. <laughs> He's Grizzly Gundam. Well, technically, I do have a chainsaw and a hockey mask. Wait, why do you have a hockey mask? Don't ask. Did you play hockey? Uh, when I was a kid. You, you were the goalie, weren't you? Mm -hmm. At first, but I actually actually just became a regular defensive player. Yeah, I used to play uh, roller hockey back on my street when I was still on good terms with some of the people there. We had like a little team going. It was kind of like Rocket Power esque. I was a pretty nasty mid. Like I could play both the pretty good because back when I was younger, I was I I had really good bursts of speed. Like you see it now, even sometimes. Like I can oh, yeah. like I can run decent and then. Like, Basil's not a runner just on his own sheer work alone. Like, there's some genetics in play there. Alright, so we're in a jungle. We are in a jungle. Frick! You fell, didn't you? A little bit. So, where's the predator? Um, he's currently on his coffee break. So he will not be joining us today. Alright. Are there any Predator-themed achievements in any of the Halo games? Uh, you know, I don't know. Like, that were just like... Well, no, it wasn't like the, like, If It Bleeds or something was an achievement? You know, I think, uh, there was an achievement called that. Like, isn't it like Kill, like, a Stealth the Lead or something, maybe? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I actually Because there's, got there's no way Halo, Halo with the... There's no way that Halo, with the Elites and the Camo stuff, has not made at least one Predator reference. Like I said, it's been a long time since I got an achievement in a Halo game because I've already gotten most of them that aren't multiplayer achievements. That's true, your gamer score up. Multiplayer achievements are bullshit. Oh, I forgot I got the six pointer in Puzzle Fighter 2 last night. Hi, guys. Uh oh. Hey, you gotta close there, buddy. Yeah. There, I got it. Yeah, I will. My immersion is broken. Ah, uh, well, shit. And then here comes the hockey mask and chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> I want a gif of, of your dad doing that. It would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Get him to do that for, like, a prank once and film it. Have him put on uh, the, the whatchamacallit mask. The stone mask? No, that'd be horrific. And I'd probably die. <laughs> but I'm more referring to um, the, the other mask that you have. Oh, the... Um, the, 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 the uh, Goliath mask? Yes. I don't know why that was just... I was gonna, that was I very say, hard like, for you to say. No, I couldn't remember who it was. I, was gonna, I wanted to say Brick, Bone Shredder, and I was like, who the fuck has that mask? You know what, I think I know what I'm gonna do for Retro Man for his thanks. And what's that? If I can even potentially get this, but I need to... You know, my stepdad's good at whittling, but he'll ask why. Well, or, then you, you show him remember, the... Uh, oh, wait, is that the shark... Is that the shark... Ah! Disorientation? Is this Shark Week room? 
Very possible. Damn it. Hey, this is where all the needlers are. Because I'll give you a clue. It's something similar that he got me. Look at me. Because think about it, he loves that shit. Yeah, that's true. Oh, this guy. I love this guy. Oh, wait. Stay back. You're not turning me into one of those things. This is every dude who's ever been worked for Umbrella. Oh, I forgot this one actually shoots you. I got an idea how to end this. Oh, God. That was a huge. He actually uh, speaks for a lot longer, too. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I love Oh, did I tell you in Azura's Wrath? Like, I actually screwed myself on some achievements because while people are doing... And folks, don't play Azura's Wrath. <laughs> don't. It's, Is it that bad? It feels like I'm watching something more than MGS4. Ooh. Like, it's literally MGS4 cutscenes with at least somewhat fun uh, quick time events, like, like interacting ones. But then you have... Uh, Literally, it's it's like early build, like Ninja Storm, uh, the the three sixty Naruto games from Cyber Connect two, like those battle yeah, mechanics. Here, here's our uh, here's the big spoiler. Yeah, those. No, it's not not yet. The the, the fucking Christ, frame rate for his helmet just went to shit. Yes, it did. Huh. <laughs> Check your six. Why does what is my imaginary Spartan friend that should be checking my six for me? You've clearly done things that require two people. Like in the final run, you've clearly shot people and blew up things. There's a million like weird like war horror story things like Lovecrafty and crap that does that. No, I know. Like it's like he survived. Like didn't Bones do that? There's an episode of Bones where uh, Bone the the guy that bones bones. Yeah. I don't know what his name is. Boneception. Um, I almost said Frank Castle, but I know it's not Frank Castle. <laughs> Although he should bone bones, uh, but still. Like, he's in, trapped in some, like, b war battleship thing. And he's, and I guess he thinks he sees a dude that when he was in the military got c captured, who he thought was executed, like, there with him. And he's like, oh, you were here tortured all this time. I'm sorry. And they get out doing MacGyver crap. That one of, like, the super brainy guys says straight out, that, like, two people had to be here to do this. And it was him potentially hallucinating going insane. Oh, hey, Marcus, not Marcus. Um, Marcus, not Marcus. Hey, Gilligan. Or Richard Nixon, or... Nixon. That looks like Richard Nixon and Gilligan's love child. <laughs> <laughs> so is he Nixon, not Nixon, now? Well, nixed Nixon. <laughs> Double Nix. <laughs> Double Nix, yes. It sounds like a candy. It does. Speaking of that, I'm gonna eat a warhead. Go, go, go. A nuclear one? Go, go, go. I found these the other day. Where? <laughs> uh, it's best I don't say where. Look at this. Tell me this doesn't look like a scene from a Predator movie. Oh, it does. Except for when you get to this weird shit. Until you get to the alien ruins. Well, no, you get to the... The... the what the hell are they called? The engineers. That's what they were called. The best of them all. Yeah, the engineer's ruins are weird bull crap. But, yeah, but like I was saying, though, um... Fuck, what was I saying? I have no idea. It was before Nixon, not Nixon. We were flying. Uh... What did it have to do? Oh, dead guy. Yo, hey girl, what's up? That's so dumb. <laughs> They're like... I like how this stupid idiot head bobs. <laughs> Why are you in your officer's scr- Well, I'm not, I guess there's clothes options aren't much, but, like, maybe you put a piece of armor on? He's Captain Key. Screw that. God damn, what was I talking about before? I don't even remember. Alright, well, let's just cover the topics that we probably covered. Um... um there was the, oh, hey girl, hey Marcus. Uh, Halo plot, penises, getting things for Retro Man, super secret spoilers. Uh, they have to do with Alien or Predator? Might have, I don't know. We talked a lot about Alien, Predator, and Godzilla. Yeah, that was last video, I think. No, um, we talked about Godzilla at the beginning of this one. Yeah. 
Oh my god, what the hell was it in this one? We talked about your dad having a gift with the hockey mask and a chainsaw. Uh... Fuck! What's going on, soldier? Sir, what is it? You just hear over the comm? Stars! <laughs> the same fucking thing. No, I know. Um... Did you ever play any of the old Resident Evil games? I would, I really wanted to. I'm really tempted to download Resident Evil 4. I really do want to play Resident Evil 3. Um, uh, That's Nemesis, isn't it? Yeah, the Nemesis one. I, really, I, I never actually... 4 was the first one I ever played. I hear that's a good one to start. It's and the best one. Spoilers! Here we have the Flood. They are shit lords. I hate the Flood. I'm just pushing Betty Hill music in my head right now. <laughs> like, the Flood is just running around in circles. I, I truly do hate the Flood, though. Like, they, they're, they're a good enemy to have in this first game. As much as I can't stand them. But, uh... They sucked in 2. I didn't like them at all in 2. Because they... That whole them being... No, no, not 2. 3. Yeah, basically, the, to have them back in 2 and 3 was just kind of like, really? No, I didn't mind them in 2 because I was like, well, if they don't bring them back, that's stupid. I mean, I guess I can understand that, but three, they were just like, nah. I think Hawkeye can arrow shoot a USB in the Master Chief's head. Maybe? Alright, which one of these doors opens first? Uh, I don't remember. We need shotguns. And we need them fast. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, I don't care if we're Front. fine or not. I just want shotguns. Talking about before. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to you. Okay, this, 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 we have the suicide guy. Uh, I did the humane kill. Uh, okay. We talked about predator themed achievements. Actual flood combat forms now. Yeah, these guys are assholes. Now, does this game have that thing where they can get up into, like, the, the infect forms and be revive these no. dudes? No. Alright, good. Th this was the the one game where it's like, when you downed a combat form, it like, stayed permanently. Dead. Yeah, it stayed dead. Good. As they should. Escape! What the? God damn it. Ah! Off. Uh, that one's still alive. Got two still alive over here. I uh, just floored him. Yeah, I know. I was coming back for you. God. I hate the flood. Uh, I do too. What a Doom esque enemy, though. Oh my god. Okay, right. That door actually is broken now, so we need to go this way. When do we get to the shit bridge? Um, the one that if you're good at jumping. You can actually, like, cut through half a level. Yeah. What the... Oh. Whoa. Where... Huh? Um... Okay, there we go. Alright, okay, there we go. Oh, I remember what I was wrong about Halo. I thought you could use the Sentinel laser in this game. Yep. Love that gun. Was never really a fan of it. I liked it because I would always be like, charge particle cannon fire. Uh, took too, uh, too long to, for me. Yeah, it was, I liked it for dealing with the infection forms. It was good for that, but, uh, I always just had issues. I'm so mad that I don't remember what we're talking about, because I can literally just listen to this recording again and find out, but I can't do that right now. Yeah. Ow, I almost killed myself. No, it was, it was a fun fact that I mentioned or something, I think. I don't actually remember. Uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. One issue I've always, I do have with Halo 1 is the level design is very reuse same old room. Uh, yes, it, it definitely is. And that can really throw off your, like, your pace if you're like, okay, where, where am I going? Have I been here? 
Like, you have to look for really specific, like, set pieces and crap. You know, I think we actually skipped the, uh, the broken bridge. Oh, shit. Hold up. I'm platforming. There if, we go. If I remember right, we actually just skipped the broken bridge. Hit that button. See if that works. No, I don't think we did, because I think we have to get over there. No, we gotta go this way. Okay. Because there's dead people here. Always follow the trail of dead people. That sounds like a good idea. I remember when I was a kid, I used to think you could throw a grenade in here and it would, like, railgun out. Like, when I first saw that, I'm just like, this has to do something. And you know if this was, like, Serious Sam or, like, Duke Nukem? Like, that would have been a secret thing to do. Oh, yeah. Because I love some of those secrets in those, like, Serious Sam games. You fight, like, giant kamikazes. Like, the, the fucking trees come to life and start attacking you. Yeah. Get in the lift. I do know that if we actually make our way back to the old lift, like the first lift that we're in, you actually, like, you press the button and you just see a flaming lift fall. Alright. That's actually pretty damn cool. Oh, now they're using the yep, guns. Now they They've use just guns. officially broken every... That should have been a cutscene, because this breaks every goddamn zombie rule ever. Yeah. Yes, it does. Like, they got, like, Hulk Ultimate Destruction jumps. No hockey mask and chainsaw. No, no. It's off. Yeah, these guys suck. Well, we are on normal. True, we're not doing super... Super hard mode. Fucking legendary. Right, favorite level of a Halo altogether. Altogether? Oof. Yes. Every Halo game. Oh, no, Reach, here's uh, the broken bridge. Reach, ODST, Wars, just favorite Halo level ever. How'd you get up there? Oh, there you go. Made it across. Wait, that's not how you... I'm gonna disorient you to me. Yeah, okay. Yoga! It's not working. Um. I think I might have gone the wrong way anyway. Oh, that's okay then. Still not teleporting me. Oh, fuck off. Oh, boy. Uh, I, I believe in you, Prime. You can make it. I know I can make it. Yes, yeah, I did I did the goods. Did one of these assholes have a shotgun? So, I, yeah, so I have a feeling like we should have picked up a shotgun by now. I think I see one. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. Oh, I got a shotgun. And I'm glad I got sunshine. And a bag. I always get lost in this level. Yeah, same here. Alright, but yeah, but so back to the question. Like, do you have a favorite Halo level of all time? I'm actually trying to decide. It's, it's really tough, because I love Halo. I love the series. I love the shot. Ah! The shotgun in Halo 1 was also extremely overpowered. I'm gonna say what my favorite level is of all time, and not many people will actually... Ah! Yo got teleport! And I don't know if many people agree with me. Um, level 2 of Halo 2. Not sure I actually remember that level. It's the one where you're on Earth. Oh, right. I love that because you were on Earth. Yeah, like, that was pretty awesome. Like, because we fought in a space station before in Pillar of Autumn. We fought on Halo. We fought in Covenant ships. That was the first time where we are, we're on our home turf.
So, like, that was so cool to me because I'm like, I'm on Earth. We've got tanks. We've got convoys. And then Halo 3 kind of soured the go with that. And you're just like, can I get the fuck off Earth? Yeah. Okay. I found uh, the path up. Alright. Um, isn't it like boxes? Yeah, there's a that box right there. And then you jump up on the platform and... Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Yeah. That was another thing that could screw you. Like you could, sh because you could shoot out the glass. Oh yeah. Like I could. I was tempted in my brain. I was like, should I be a dick? Well, the glass was already gone in that bottom section. Well, no. When you're standing on the other one, like going like, here's where you go, Prime. I was but it's like, like you could be walking, like forget that the glass is gone, and then just be like, oh. Or you have a an ally that just shoots it the fuck out. Yeah. You could have a asshole allies. Although I think that's a really cool thing in games that you can do, like when they give you that option, like you could shoot out the floor. Because nothing is cooler than just dropping some idiot who's not paying attention. Oh yeah, that's true. Onto the lift. Shotgun. Okay, if I remember correctly, the uh, the terminal right here is right there. If I also remember correctly, don't we get fucking chocolate rained on? Um... No, not in this lift. Ah, oh, humans. Yeah, remember, this is actually a good spot. Has yep. Yeah, this was, uh, the, the shotgun in this game was overpowered, uh, and it had a shit ton of ammo. It did. But I'm trying to think, like, like I said, my favorite level of all time is the second level of Halo 2. Because you're on Earth. And it's probably the same reason why I like Reach, because we're not going to, like, another planet. Like, we're on... Well, we are on another planet, but we're on human turf the entire time. Like, there's something about being in a defensive... Like, a defensive but offensive scenario like that. Like, it's like we're offensively repelling invaders from our territory. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, I think my favorite would actually have to be... Uh, Silent Cartographer of Halo 1. That was level 4, right? That's level 4. I can see the appeal of that one because you're fucking storming beaches. Yeah, it's kind of like a Space Marine D-Day. And something about that just has me kind of being like, ooh, this is actually really cool. Where's our chainsaw swords? There's Space Marines. Where the fuck's our chainsaw swords? And, like, our badass, like, fucking Boltok thing. So, in other words, where's our uh, Gears of War weapon and where's our Warhammer weapon? Well, the chainsaw sword's a Warhammer weapon, too. That... That's why everyone always made that joke that Gears of War was basically, like, I can see now why, like, people said, like, Gears of War is, like, a ripoff a lot of, like, in ways of Warhammer, like, it's, in terms of, like, its story and series and, like, the way its universe is, because now that I've played a Warhammer, I looked up some shit, it's really similar! I don't care if it's similar or not, well, no, I'm not, not like, it's, like, it's, like, almost, like, shamelessly similar, like, I like the series of Gears of War, yeah, but it's, like, I was, like, oh, wow, they did really awesome, like, universe story stuff it's so unique and then i'm like not really <laughs> never said gears was unique i just like the. Uh, but I now i kind of understand though where like some people will come off with like the whole like fuck gears kind of thing yeah well like i kind of understand where they're coming from. not that i think it's a bad game i just now have a better understanding of why some people have that attitude is it understandable so let's see oh sentinels are here it the first time I ever played Halo 1... God, uh, you know what the first thing that just popped into my mind when you said that? What? I was watching fucking stream matches of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 last night. <laughs> I just imagined to see fucking Sentinel flying in with like a fucking power bomb. Wow. The first time I ever played uh, Halo 1, actually because I didn't own it, so I had played level 10. The first level I ever played was level 10. The last level. When Sentinels are your enemies. So when these guys first showed up and they were your allies... You started shooting them. I was just shooting them. I admit I did mm -hmm. that too. Because I was like, oh, fuck these guys. I was like, I don't know what these guys are. But so far, every other new introduced thing has been my enemy. And then this is where it takes a weird turn in this game. Because you're, you're thinking, okay, I'm just on this weird artifact thing. It's like Doom. I find the Doom portal, basically. So yeah. I'm fighting aliens near the Doom portal. Then you find out, no, you, had, you, just, un you just unleashed the T-Virus... And now we're finding, like, 
weird space cult shit. Like, the first time I saw Guilty Spark, I was like, the fuck is that thing? Yeah. It reminded me of something from something but else. On this note, though, we're going to call it here. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any uh, questions or comments, put them in the comments. If you want to send us shit, ask us how. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to actually Listen, send us things. If they do, that'd be awesome. But still, question us how you can send us swag. Don't actually question that. But anyway, goodbye, people. We and will please, see you in a little bit. Please, no dragon dildos. Send them all to Prime. Yes. Goodbye, people.